y'all and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, we are going to be doing a review on the current exhaust system on my 2016 Ford Mustang GT. Now, with that being said, um, you know what I'm saying? It is a 2016 and we're clearly in the year 2021. So I did buy this car used. So I thought when I bought this car that the exhaust was stuck. Uh, you know, granted how it's quiet, you know what I'm saying? At idle, but then has like a little bit of a rumble um, or growl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when, you know, you get on the gas pedal. So I really thought that the car was stuck, but if you guys didn't uh, tune in to the video where I looked underneath the car for the first time after I picked it up, um, I noticed that the car had Flowmaster axle backs on it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not 100% sure what series the Flowmasters are that's on this car. I'm not sure if it's like the Flowmaster 44s or 20s or whatever else, you know what I'm saying, Flowmasters they got, because apparently they have a whole bunch of Flowmaster axle backs that you can, uh, you can get for your S550 or honestly any car. So with all that being said, um, the car has a Flowmaster axle back on it, the stock resonator, stock, stock cats, stock everything other than the mufflers. So with that being said, you know, the car has a little bit of a growl to it, a little bit of a rumble, nothing crazy, but it does sound pretty good for what it is. So in today's video, I just want to give you guys some clips um, at idle and uh, probably 2K RPM, 3K RPM, 4K RPM. And then I probably just, you know, try to max it out at 6K or wherever it's going to redline that. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? I am new to this car, so I don't really know all of the revving points, like where it maxes out at in neutral and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see how far or how high up I can get it. And I do want to get some drive-by clips. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them in today's video just because I'm kind of racing against the rain. You know what I'm saying? I know I have... 5% tint on my windows. So, you know, it's always dark in the car, but it's actually about to rain today. It was supposed to rain yesterday, um, but you know, Houston, you never know. So it's supposed to rain today. I'm not 100% sure if it's actually gonna rain. I hope that it does just so we can get it out of the way because I'm tired of like, you know, being on the fence, like, oh, it's gonna rain today. Nah, it'll rain tomorrow. Nah, it'll rain day before that. You know what I'm saying? Day after that or whatever. Whatever the case may be, bro, it'd be annoying me. So with that being said, bro, if there's no flybys in this video, then you guys just stay tuned for the YouTube shorts or on my Instagram, J.I. Productions underscore. Make sure you guys go tap in over there. I'll drop a couple flybys um, on either one of those. <laughs> That way you guys can still get the flybys, you know, because I know there's a whole bunch of exhaust setups that you can get for these cars. Um, and when you're new to the platform or just getting in one of these, you know, the first thing that you want is to get your own sound um, to the car. You know what I'm saying? You want to put your own exhaust on there. So here's one of the options. Like I said, stock cats, stock resonators, stock um, exhaust manifolds. Flow master axle backs. That's literally all the car has. All right, you guys, so those were some revving clips. Um, I went all the way up to about 6,500 RPMs right before 7K because it red lines at 7K. Um, and then, you know, you guys got the idling clips as well. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the Flow Masters. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it a book. Flow Masters are kinda like, and I've said this before, Flow Masters are kinda like old school American muscle. You feel me? like? When I think of Flowmaster, I think of like, you know, Grandpa, you know what I'm saying, C5 Corvette, C4, you feel me? Flowmaster's on there, it got that American muscle rumble, but 
that's about it. You just get the rumble. You don't get like the screaming, the roar, or anything like that. And as you guys know, or you may not know, with the Coyote, it loves to rev up. It loves revving up, honestly, like legit. Look, I'm about to tap the throttle, literally tap it. Like, just I, I'm just tapping it. You know, with that being said, you know what I'm saying, they like to rev up insanely high. So, they sound extremely good when they have the right exhaust combination on them. Um, you know what I'm saying? Some people go straight pipe all the way back. I've done that before on both of my previous cars. Don't get me wrong, they sound good. You know what I'm saying? They sound great. On these cars, full straight pipe is just like extremely loud and extremely raspy at the same time. So I don't think that I'm gonna be going completely straight piped on this car. Um, I think I'm gonna actually go with an exhaust system this time. I'm not gonna get into the details of what exhaust system I'm gonna do. I might keep the Flowmasters on here and do like an off-road X-pipe um, and then like a cat delete for the first setup, but I have a you know a setup in my head that I actually want to run, like legit want to run. Um, that's gonna come further on down the line um, when we go with the second setup for this car, the second phase for this car, as far as the performance goes. But as of right now, this is just gonna be phase one, step one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% sure, like I say, you know, if I'm gonna keep these Flowmasters on here or if I'll end up selling them or giving them away whenever I get the uh, exhaust system in that I wanna run currently. But if I do keep these, I'd probably just go ahead and do an off-road X-Pipe, see how loud they are, see if they give me the tone that I want. If they don't, it's all good. I'm not tripping on it. It is what it is. We'll just keep pushing um, and keep trying to find the exhaust setup that's perfect for me. Now, with that being said, you guys know I love doing exhaust. You guys love seeing the exhaust videos that I do. Um, the exhaust is one of, it's like, it's like the signature of the car. You feel me? Like, I love when my boys, like I pull up on my homeboys and I ain't even got to tell them that I'm outside. They already know before I even turn down the street that I'm finna pull up because they hear the car. You feel me? Like the exhaust note to me is the car's signature. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you hear a Lamborghini, even before seeing the Lamborghini, you know it's a Lamborghini. You feel me? So it's the same thing with all of my cars. When you hear my car, you know, oh yeah, that's J.I. before even seeing it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the exhaust setup, if I'm gonna keep the Flowmasters. If I'm not, we will see, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and stay tuned to every upload, you know what I'm saying? And you guys will get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you won't miss out feel me but without further ado man that's gonna be it for this video like i said earlier smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what setup you guys are currently running on your car also let me know what you guys think about the flow masters that's on here and then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up for the kid one time just so we can get the youtube analytics up there <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next one peace